Fresh off work. I'm not even about to take nothing off. I got my, my, my warm gear on. I'm about to eat real quick. And we're gonna go out here and we're gonna jack up the 6'4. We're gonna take one of the wheels off. We're gonna take the drum off and see what do we see. Well, we're gonna check the uh, the uh, reservoir too, the brake reservoir. Because I topped it off before I closed it back up. So if, if all that fluid leaked out again, we definitely got a hose in one of the lines or something. It's, it's leaking out somewhere. So hopefully I can jack the car up and we can find it. Cause I don't know. So give me a second and we gonna get that popping. Yeah. All right, two, we out here. Got everything we need pretty much set up. I got the jack up under the, uh, the six four already. So let's, uh, let's pop the hood. Cause if you uh, remember on the last video, I topped off the uh, master cylinder with brake fluid. So let's see how do it look now. Uh, if I grab a hook, let's pop this back off. If it's still got fluid in it to the top, well, even if it didn't, I still wouldn't know. But let's just check. I wonder, do it? Do it have like a a so so slow leak? Dang, that boy can't get it out. Okay, so it's definitely low. That's because I spilled majority of it because this rubber boot sticks out super far. So. <clears throat> With that being said, it's not completely empty, so I don't think it's draining. And on top of that, in my last video, I noticed I only have one brake line. Y'all see this? I followed this brake line to the front, and I feel like, don't this supposed to go to the rear? Shouldn't I have a brake line going up here down to the rear? I don't know. I really don't know. I feel like I do. And if that's the case, that means I've been driving this car with only front brakes, which is drum. And that is terrible. Highly dangerous. So I don't know. So right now, let's, uh, what you whining about? Let's jack this bad baby up. And we're going to look up under here. And I got, um, the lug nuts soaking in uh some uh lubricant. <laughs> Check them on up. Turn the camera around if I can see, make sure everything is good. Okay, yep, looking good. You too, what's going on, y'all? It's always a problem. Always a problem.
Can't believe the brakes went out like that. So I spent the wheel on my driver's side, I heard nothing, just a smooth wheel. On the passenger side, I could hear the brakes like rubbing. So I don't know. All right, easy, easy. That's a bet. Uh, got my impact. Oh, I got to remember what the foot size. Thick short one, I don't know. It's one of these. So what's been going on too, man? Talk to your boy. Is everything going? What? I hope all is well with y'all. Move, boy. Let me go get my four-way, cause them boys is tight. Shift. All right, two. that boy out of there. Oh, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna take y'all in here. 
So my thought was by removing removing that tire, I will see some either leakage or whatever, but that's a it's hard to spin. Okay, let me uh put y'all back on the tripod and take the drum off. So no, nah, no leakage. Get y'all in there closer. Let's try to zoom in. Let me get y'all. Oh uh, yeah, y'all can see. Alright. Oh my damn back is killing me. Uh, let's see. bring y'all in here. So, I don't think, definitely don't think this is the issue. The front pad look good. If I'm not mistaken, still got meat on it. I don't know if this will wear down or is it a texture that be on top. See, I'm not, I'm, I have no knowledge with drum. But the inside of the drum is smooth. It's not pitted. So I think this one was working pretty good. Huh. So. But where's the brake lines? I, I followed them under the frame here. But I don't see it coming in. I see the master cylinder, so the brake, oh, right here, right in my face. This is the brake line. Is it leaking back there? Yeah, nope, it's a bunch of overspray back there. Ooh, that boy mad crusty though. Stand up. No leaks though. It's not, it's not here. All right, let me put this drum and wheel back on and we gonna come back on the other side. Okay, tube, I went ahead and skipped ahead and took the lug nose off and took the, uh, the tire off. But as you can see, this one, uh, it's more the same. This one actually, I see a lot of spider webs. Oh, maybe not. Man, I can barely turn this boy. Damn. Hold up, y'all. Let me take this off. Let me take this one off. Set y'all down right here. Problem. I think that's the problem. 
<laughs> I hope the camera caught that, y'all. Let me, uh... Oh, let me grab it, y'all. So, alright. As soon as I took the drum off, the brake pad fell off. And now that I'm looking at it, these brakes are done. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be like texture on here. There's nothing on there. Yeah, these pads are through. It sit up on there. But it wasn't even on there. It just really fell. Okay. I feel like that's the problem. Wow. Even these lines is crusty. So I'm gonna make a list. So I need a whole new hookup. I'm definitely doing a conversion kit. So my my game plan, y'all, is to do all four. I definitely want to do all four discs, but that that's definitely gonna cost. I've been looking it up. That's gonna run anywhere from. I seen like. I think 1800 all the way up as high as like 3500 depending on the brand. But that will be a lot, a lot more stopping power. A lot more stopping power. So, yeah, that's the issue. I gotta take a picture of that, send that to Rick. Like, dog, look at this. Yeah. Well, I took the damn drum off it fell. Wow. But yeah, uh, cylinder. The, the picture I used on the first video, that was just a picture off the internet. But look, that low key not. Oh, let me turn on auto focus. I'm sorry, y'all. Focus. That don't look too far from it. Come on, baby. Focus. There it go. That don't look too far from what the picture looked like. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Damn, okay. Figured it out. Front brake pad wasn't even intact. And you know why? Oh, it made sense. That side locked up on me. Maybe I did that when it locked up and I broke it free. And when I broke it free, I broke it, I guess. I, like I said, I know... I have no idea about no drum brakes. But I'm glad it happened here. Than me getting on the road and trying to stop. And won't be able to stop. Ooh, excuse me. So okay. Well let me uh put the wheel back on, man, and then wrap it up. So now we we're gonna be on the hunt. Like I said, I don't know what type of brakes I wanna use, man. What y'all think would go good? Because the rims I'm getting is going to be like a five-star rim. So You will be able to see through it. So it's just, do I want them to see the wild wood? Do I want them to see, I guess Bear's a good brand. I watch Hoonigans. They, they preach a lot about like Hawks. So I don't know if they got calibers for them, but... I just need something to stick out when I put them my actual rims on. So uh, let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know. And that will go good. Yeah, I didn't even bring my phone. You know what? Let me stop this footage real quick, y'all. Get some pictures with this camera. And then I'm gonna get back on y'all. Yeah. You too, what it do? Listen, ah, I forgot to do a uh, closer. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, it's in the left. It is. I forgot to do a closer for this uh, video. So, what I ended up doing was, as I grabbed the last water bottle, I, um, I ordered the new brake kit, a brake conversion kit, and I can show y'all right here. I would have did it on the computer, but the family in there watching uh, Ghostbusters. So let's see if I can blow it up. So I ordered this kit right here, y'all. Might have to drop it down. Okay. If 
focus, focus. But that's the power boost booster. Then it comes with the uh, it come with the front uh, brake rollers and all that, which is that. I know it's, it's hard to kind of see it. But the rollers, they come with the calibers. It was a whole kit. So I got the whole shebang and bang. I don't know where the main picture at, but so we got it. That's the same kit that's already installed on the, the 6-1 Impala. So uh, that will be in in the next couple of days. So uh, stay tuned because uh, we gonna, we going to get it going. I'm getting this car. I'm determined to get this stuff done. Or at least put it away where I'm where I could drive it for sure. A couple of more parts came. That big box right there came today. Uh, the, I think that's the rest of my bumpers. My front bumpers is over there. My rear bumper is up there. It's already attacked. Uh, what else? My rims is here. This will be the next thing that's going to get mounted up. I'm going to go get some tires for them. Just say forget it. Drop it back. As you can see what I'm running. I didn't go crazy. I went 17s because these are going on the 6. The 6 one. So they 17 by 8s maybe. Let's see if I can see the sticker somewhere. Uh, that won't show it. I think they 17 by 8s so, y'all. Uh, the sticker down there. Let's see if we got one on this side. Nope. Okay. We ain't gonna worry about it. But they 17 by 8s. Um, those cars originally for the 6 one but i'm gonna put them on the six four for the time being until we get the 22s made custom made uh, i actually got the money to do it but i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait and see how all this playing out so the next step is for sure is the brake conversion and i started putting my drip rails on there but i think i kind of messed up on it so i might have to take it off i already shot a video of it so after i edit and post this i'm gonna edit that one up and post that so, man, I'm working, y'all. Hit that like, subscribe. If you got any questions, comments, let me know. And stay tuned and look out for the next one. Cheers.